So welcome, welcome to this meditation. And just noticing what's present here for you in this moment. Wherever you are, whatever time of the day it is, in this moment it's now and here. So let's together tune into this sense of here and now, however that shows up however that appears. And as always rolling out the welcome mat for any objects that appear in consciousness or in self or in awareness. So the objects could be thoughts, sensations in the body. And feelings arise when we attach thoughts to sens sensations. They tend to carry a little bit more energy. So we can be curious about what's present here. Curiosity is one of the eight C's of self. What thoughts? What sensations, what feelings are present here? Stories, memories, hopes, plans, wishes, desires, fears, uncertainties, grudges, Making space, making space in the inner world and realizing that in this space of self, in the aware presence, there is unlimited space for all these objects that we can be aware of. And if we ever so lightly let them in and let them out without overly attaching to any one particular object. We notice that it won't have the ability to veil our presence in self. Really allowing, allowing anything that wants to move across 
the sky of self, really allowing anything to come through. But allowing it to ever so gently slide, ever so gently dissipate without us needing to attach like Velcro to anything. We can just witness what's in this spacious, open sky that is self. So letting yourself land, letting yourself arrive in your body. And taking up a position that feels the most natural, most comforting, most supportive and letting yourself be unashamedly human take up space if yawning comes then yawn sighing Deep breathing. Even if any shouting or any sounds want to come through, let it come. Let it be. Let yourself be unashamedly human. And as we're tuning into the thoughts, sensations, feelings, notice how you can very easily become lost in a train of thoughts or very easily get pulled into any particular thought that's crossing the sky of your awareness. And notice how there's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. This is the being unashamedly human. If you notice yourself being thrown around by various parts, at least let's not add the secondary or tertiary arrows to feeling guilty or feeling ashamed. We simply notice. Whoops, I seem to have Velcroed myself to a part. 
What do I want to do about this? And the few options here, we can knowingly, consciously, curiously embody the part deeper or embody the sensation deeper. So let me consciously direct my breath towards the part of my body that is currently noticing whatever it is noticing. But we're doing that consciously. Knowingly. Letting ourselves be very curious about how big, how deep, how vivid. Is this thought, is this feeling, is this sensation? And in IFS terms, we're almost blending deeper, but who or what are we binding to this feeling or being with this feeling? It's of course self. And bringing plenty of breath to this part, to this area, to whatever sensation is here. Let me look through your eyes knowingly. Let me perceive as it is for you. Let me understand you. And when we truly allow ourselves to do that, what we find is every time a desire, a call for love, that every tension, every bit of contraction in the body Any thought or feeling that is coming from lack is simply a call for love, to be seen, to be witnessed, to be heard, to be nurtured.
And we can sometimes find the most profound, sweetest, deepest, most nourishing love when we really inhabit these parts. And really tune into how much they're calling out for love. And so often, they're so used to met with resistance, with avoidance. Not welcomed. And see if we can really do a U-turn, turn around. The Christian word repent originally in Greek means to turn around. And what are we turning around to and with? It's with love towards these parts with love. So to turn around, to do a U-turn. Let me see you closer. Let me see you deeper. Let me see how you see. Nine times out of 10, we see the innocence. We see the love, we see the beauty. To see if in this moment you can really turn around and look closer at these parts of us that are longing, longing to see self. Can you show them now? Show them the spaciousness of self, the graciousness. the loving kindness. Really embalming everything with lovely breaths. Anointing everything with breath. Really letting any parts that have been hidden in the shadows, letting them finally receive 
the light of self. See the brilliance that they themselves are made of. Unashamedly human. for any parts that haven't met self yet or still lack trust in self maybe they've projected any feelings the parts had about adult caregivers onto self see if you can show these parts now that Self is not like the adult caregivers. That maybe didn't do such a good job when these parts were little. See if you can show them the spaciousness, graciousness, of self. Really bringing all of that home into your body with the breath. The only place that can fully satiate the longing is the inner home. And self is the perfect host, welcoming parts at the table, the table of plenty. No one will go lacking at the table of self. Not a single part, not a single thought, not a single feeling, not a single sensation. All is met with plentiful, bountiful graciousness of self. If you can let them have the best meal they've ever had now.
And breathing that in, almost letting yourself taste the sweetness of your own breath. Hmm. And again, if you notice a desire to move the body, to yawn, to sigh, stretch. This is your time now, in this here and now, to luxuriate in your being. If you can show the inner world now, it's safe to open up any boundaries. Notice the chest loosening, opening, shoulders relaxing. breath gliding the breath gliding in and out like a bird floating on the air currents easeful gentle supported The rib cage soft, open. Belly natural. And really becoming aware of gravity, just holding it all. Mm. Letting yourself really be here. And letting yourself sit with the possibility in this moment that there's nothing really to fix. Nothing really to do right now. This is just causeless being. This isn't being through the lens of the therapist part or the fixer part. This is being for the sake of being. If there's any achiever parts here, you can also soften into these. Welcome mat, this space. And continue to receive nourishment from simple breathing.
this time of the year can be especially difficult for any parts of us that are grieving longing for family longing for home longing for ease you can feel especially very contracted and feel a lot of pressure to somehow manufacture somehow mirror what happens in social media these adverts of perfect christmas dinners perfect families sat around plentiful tables Everyone's smiling and happy. And in this moment, can it be enough just to breathe? Is it as simple as that? Just to be aware of the longing, the longing to be met by self and to be embalmed by the breath. Is it as simple as that? To see these parts sat around the inner table. With the inner family. Feasting on the most perfect, most satiating meal there is. The unconditional love of self. It's always here. We just need to turn around and turn within. And again, if sighing naturally comes or yawning, stretching, let it come. Unashamedly human. And these practices are not about perfection. It's not about controlling and making sure that we never let in any 
negative or sad thoughts or feelings in. It's not about that. It's just the opposite, in fact, just the opposite. It's about rolling out the welcome mat, welcoming anything that wants to come at the table of self. There's enough water, there's enough food, there's enough air here for everyone. It's about not becoming lost in the wilderness of parts. And if we ever do find ourselves lost, then we always recognize that they're simply calling out for love. And let that be a cue to notice that self is here. Whenever you notice a contraction in the body, sensation in the chest or in the tummy, ah, it must be that I'm calling out for love, yes. Yes, I'm calling out for love. What or who is aware of this call and can answer this call perfectly? Ah, self is here. And most of us, most of the time, find ourselves lost in the call before we recognize that it is a call for love. And that's okay. And the moment we notice that we temporarily become blended with all veiled by this call. We can immediately 
Turn around and look at the face of self. Look at the one. That is always here, always present. And then eventually, when we've vacillated and practiced turning around and noticing the unconditional love that is here, eventually these parts become clear, they become il illuminated with self. They are no longer able to veil or eclipse self. We can be aware of them without them veiling anything at all. And one of my favorite analogies of this is during the day, even on the cloudiest, cloudiest of days, the light of self still shines through. And with more awareness, the parts be become clear. We sort of gain a, a knowing. This is a capital K knowing. Knowing ourselves as self. And knowing here has nothing to do with relative knowledge or intellectual knowledge it's it's the kind of knowing that could be compared to knowing that we're all naked beneath our clothes right now without having to start peeling layers off in order to prove that this is the knowing when these parts become luminous, illuminated with light, just as the moon reflects the light of the sun, the parts too reflect the light and allow the light through as well. And so we no longer ever truly become veiled despite being aware of the parts. Notice how it's possible to be both, to be aware of any thought, any feeling, any sens sensation, 
and allow those to be illuminated with the light of self. This is the both and, not either or. If we fear letting these parts in, when we somehow have a belief that these parts have the ability to obliterate the self. And that's a little bit like the openness of sky, fearing letting clouds in, because it might blot out the sun forever. And when we lose the fear of parts coming in, parts going out, when we lose the fear of this natural flow, there is just a spacious, receptive openness. Notice in this moment what part of you, what thought, what feeling, what sensation have you been hesitant to let in? Notice that whatever it is has no capacity to overwhelm, to eclipse the self. that the fear is simply another part, another object in the aware spaciousness of self. Hmm. So as this meditation draws to a close, if you can remain, abide as the self, perfectly aware of any movement across the sky of your awareness.
Hmm. And letting your parts know that we're going to transition into our shared circle. Maybe sending out a note of gratitude, if that feels right, for any parts. That were present, that joined us at the table. That were able to receive nourishment of self. And see if you can extend a welcome note to any parts that didn't feel they were capable of doing that as yet. My guest house is always open for you. I'm the perfect host. I await you. Your call for love is my love for you. I'm taking a more embodied Breath and noticing if you can start to move parts of your body with the intention of soon being able to open your eyes if your eyes are closed. And taking a look around the room, the space that you're in. Orient yourself. We've been focusing on the inner objects. Now we can notice the outer objects. Mm. And coming back to this space. Thank you.